Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over making some basic forms and reports. I might just hit forms in this video and then I can do some reports in another one. But either way, we're going to keep it at a pretty intro level here. So we're not going to do any fancy forms or reports, and it's not necessarily my intention to do any calculated controls on these particular forms and reports. Um, but at least let's kind of get our feet wet with the basics. Now the database that I'm working here is my best worst video rental store and you can grab this database down in the um, uh, there's a link in the description. Now the database that I'm using though already has some queries in here and I'm not sure if I'll be giving you this particular database yet because this was a solution to some other uh, to a previous activity where we're working with queries but the database I've got here is queries and I wanted to use this one because I wanted to illustrate that you can make reports with queries but I'm gonna start off with forms so just as a reminder I've got a little three table database if I go to my relationships you'll see that I've got a table for customers I've got a table for movies and I've got a table that keeps track of video rental um, transactions and I can, yes, I'll save changes to that. Uh, um, I've made a number of queries in a recent in a recent video, so we can find out, you know, what are the uh, most popular um, or what are the best rented movies here. These are ones with the highest IMDb rating. And let's see, I've got uh, I've got customers that have expiring credit cards, uh, at least as of for April of 2013 and so forth. I can find out which renters are the most popular renters or basically who's who are my best customers so to speak. So we've got a, a bunch of different things. So we've certainly got some tables and queries but you can tell by over in my objects window I have yet to create any forms and reports so let's tackle that. I'm gonna head over to the create ribbon and the create ribbon is nicely organized into little groups here and uh, so we messed around with queries before well actually we started off with tables making tables uh, in basically in design view right there we made some queries in query design and now I want to look over at forms and they've got several options here but you're not going to need a whole bunch of these there's one super quick way that you can create a form. Check this out. If I were to click on a table like uh, customers, notice I'm just clicking it once. None of my tables are open. I've just clicked on my customers table once to select it. And watch what happens when I just click this form button. There we go. I instantly have a form for my customers. And then I can save this. And I'll call this uh, customers form one. I might do a couple here click OK and you'll notice now in my uh, object window I've got a form down here it's in the lower portion of my recording I know but I've got several tables I've got several queries and I've got now one form if I collapse my queries it's a little bit easier to see you can organize your objects by the way in a number of different ways I tend to like having them grouped by object type okay um, but you can do other ways, you know, you can certainly do a, a custom there, a table and related views. Some people kind of like that because then they can go to the customers group and they can see all the things related to customers. There's a table for customers, there's several queries involving customers, and then there's a form related to customers. And I can certainly see the logic of that particular view. But I'm going to go back and change it over to by, um, what am I looking for here? Uh, object type that's the one I want because I like to really focus there I can see there's my forms I've got one form created and that is a basic form and that's not necessarily a bad way to go data entry by using a form is much better than data entry using data sheet you're not going to want to fill in a bunch of customer data and you won't want your you know you don't want your employees to do this either you got a new customer coming in you don't want your employee to open up the customer's data sheet and have to try to enter in this information this way there's too many things that can go wrong they can easily click on the wrong customer forms allow you to view one record at a time okay so you're focused just on that and if you need to enter a new person easy enough to do now there's a little feature by the way on this form and this has got a little sub form in here and this is kind of a neat little trick and this is happening because I happen to have had related tables so this is pretty cool and it's something that's going to come in handy for us later on down the road but I'm at a particular customer right now Sophie Abbott on Lafayette Street and as part of this I can also see her rental transaction I can see 
what movies have been checked out and returned. So I can see, and of course they're not sorted very well here, but I can sort by newest to oldest. So I can see that she checked out movie 348711 on March 16th and returned it on March 22nd. We can customize this later on to also show our movie titles and stuff, but that's a topic for another day. But all of this happened for me automatically. Now once you have a form created, things you might do, you can go over to, um, let's see, I'm going to look at form design and I'm going to look at my so I'm on form design on my home ribbon. Look at the view. Right now I'm in layout view, where you can actually do a little bit of formatting, by the way. You can actually size things and reposition around. I didn't really draw attention to that. But you can do stuff there. Uh, form view is basically just how it would work for the end user. Form view and layout view look very, very similar. And then let me show you design view. Oh, I'm sure I'll save changes. Design view is where a lot of stuff can go right and a lot of stuff can go wrong. Design view, we're going to spend more time on this in another video, but design view is where you can you know, quite easily add new controls or new fields, so to speak. You can resize things, um, you can change colors and fonts, literally design how you want this form to look. If you want your company logo in the form, you can add that. And there's form headers, there's the detail section, there's form footers, there's my sub form down here for video rentals. You can actually create a form from scratch using this uh, design view. I'm not going to encourage you to do that though. Okay, so that's some basics with forms. Now, the only thing I did here, if you recall, was I clicked on my table name, and then I clicked on create, and then I clicked the form button, and it automatically made a form for the table that I had active. I'm going to show you another way to make forms, but it's going to be in the next video.